What's going on here, squad? It's your main man, Hitman, and I am back <laughs> once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. This is for... I didn't have my list up. <laughs> this is for Family Heirlooms, All Lost Jury, the Coins, the Arrowheads, the Flowers, the Antique Alcohol Bottles, All Tarot Cards, the Bird Eggs, and the Fossils. Today is Tuesday... March 30th and as I say each and every video smash that thumbs up button if you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way and if you're watching just browsing just checking out the cycles just checking out me in general make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I put out because I do put out more videos other than the video that that you're currently watching um i will try to go live live maybe tomorrow i mean because I, I did promise a live stream so i'm gonna try to do a live tomorrow or something like that but if you guys want to know madame nazar's location any bit earlier than this video be sure to follow me on instagram and twitter at hitman miyagi yt um and I will update you on Madame Nazar's location and any other updates with the channel. I do post uh, the link to the video on Twitter. So, I mean, that's a thing. But no extra little, extra little frilly memes and stuff like that. Just business. <laughs> Anywho, let's get to Madame Nazar's location. Then we'll get to the Caribbean rum. Right down here in Rio Bravo, at her Rio Bravo location, right near the word plain view. Right by the ear of Snoopy. Doesn't that look like a Snoopy? Do you guys know Snoopy? Am I talking to a crowd that knows what Snoopy is? Anyway. <laughs> like that's an eye right here. It's an eye. And that's the cheek. And this is the ear. Ear part. I don't know if that's like a hidden thing in the game. Or like, I mean. But it literally looks like um, a Snoopy dog. Anywho. Madame Lazar is right here. At her Rio Bravo location. And she will be here until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time. New York Time Zone. East Coast Time Zone. For those of you who don't know. Or not of America. Um, how I personally get to her location. When she's right here. Is I try to place my camp somewhere. Inside of Rio Bravo. Because this whole little outline right here. Is Rio Bravo. See all that all that little dotted line right there that's Rio Bravo so place your camp and you'll get your camp around here somewhere sometimes you may get a camp over here somewhere close if you do gap tooth ridge but Rio Bravo is where you want to be put your camp in Rio Bravo and then go from your camp and run to her which may be the easiest thing to do and if you do have the wilderness camp you could just open it up once you get down a little bit that's what I do. I run down to like maybe like right here. When I go to her, after I get to her, I go to like right here. And then I open up my wilderness camp. And then I, I teleport out of there. Fast travel right all the way to the main side of the map. <laughs> go to my moonshine shack or something. But uh, that's how I personally get to her when she's in this area. Because there are no fast travels in Rio Bravo. Or down towards... Rio Bravo area, which I don't know why there wasn't one at, at Benedict Point at some point. But uh that's neither here nor there. Let's get to the Caribbean bottle, Caribbean rum bottle, which I already forgot where it was. <laughs> Today, the Caribbean rum bottle is all the way back this way. It's all the way right here between the r and i and springs right here at this location see chola springs right between the r and i and chola, chola springs there's a tent right here at this location right in front of that because it's, like it's like a small tent not like a big large family tent it's like a little one person tent like a child's tent but right here at this location right in front of that tent that's where you will find your Caribbean rum antique alcohol bottle for today. Let's get all the way back over here on the other side of the map. 
where I do have the cycles for you guys. I'm, I do have one up here. I'm zooming in for that for you guys, but I'm going to leave it marked where most of the stuff is so you guys can get a good look at it. And while I do have it here, make sure you pause the screen and then mark the stuff around the map. And then I'll tell you exactly what you'll get in a second. But the cycles for today, Tuesday, March 30th, are Family Heirloom Cycle 6. All Luxury Cycle 4, Coin Cycle 1, Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 6, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 2, All Tarot Cards Cycle 6, Bird Egg Cycle 6, and Fossils Cycle 3. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there. The Cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of Fossils, and how to spell my Twitter and Instagram for the channel, this channel. Let's get to the things that I actually, or we actually will find across the map. Starting with the most high, which I did not mark. There's an antique alcohol bottle at this location right here. It's about right here. Right here, you will find a Grand Corazon. Medaria? Medaria? Madeira, anywho, <laughs> this Grand Cut on antique alcohol bottle is at the back of a broken down wagon, right here at this location, and let's go on to our first marker, right here at our first marker, I feel like that, that marker is like perfect, perfectly placed, but right here at this location, you will find a fossil, a random fossil i cannot tell you guys what fossil you will get but come to here right here at this location with your metal detector and that's what it will be uh let's go first there's a tarot card over here at this location i think it's right beside the house i do not know which one it is but i know it's there for this cycle it's outside on the table with, with a bunch of clothes or something like that like a bundled up bunch of clothes uh let's go over here matter of fact, let's go all the way over here to our next marker which is a coin this coin is randomized i cannot tell you guys what coin you will get but come over here with your metal detector and that's what it will be right here inside this little square this square is like a um a convenience store or maybe a saloon or something like that but right here Inside this building, on the counter, you will find a old time gin antique alcohol bottle. So go get that as well while you're over here in the area grabbing that coin. Uh, let's see what else we have for you guys. We're going over to the right because there's nothing else right there. Right here at our next marker by the N and NWA is a bird egg. This bird egg is a egg or egg. Is in a tree, shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. And let's go down to the cemetery. There's two markers in the actual cemetery, which there are only, these are the only two things that's in this cemetery. I will try to tell you guys about it. But right here inside this first marker, well, at this first marker, inside this um, mausoleum, I don't want to call it a tomb, but it's a mausoleum. But inside this mausoleum is a absinthe bottle. A-B-S-I-N-T-H-E. is right here at this location. Go right through the, the metal gate and right to the back. And that's where it will be sitting. Uh, right here at this location, which that might be up a little bit too far. Right here at this location of this next marker. You will find a Banais Topaz ring, which is B-A-N-A-I-S, is inside this crypt. Uh, let's go over here to the right a little bit more, which is a card. There's a tarot card right here at this location. Right by, it's right about here though. It's um, on the table next to a small broken down cart. It's a seven of swords, by the way. Let's go down a little bit more. There's a 
right across from Gus, there's a treasure chest. Inside that treasure chest, you will find a boxwood comb family heirloom. Make sure you go get that. And when that's there, there's also another family heirloom right about here, which is a tortoiseshell comb, which is also a family heirloom. Um, let's see what else we have for you guys. Let's go up a little bit. Right over here at the uh, landfill, there's another family heirloom, which is a carved wooden hairpin for this car wooden hairpin you have to dig for it uh come over here with your metal detector in a pile of trash right here at that almost exact location you should be standing on top of my marker if you mark it right there exactly where it is see how i lent um uh matched it up exact do exactly that like shh, shh. but <laughs> That is a car wooden hairpin once again, and that is a family heirloom as well. Right here at this next marker is a fossil. If you see where that is, it's in the little water pile right there. Come over here in that little water puddle with your metal detector, and that's what you will get, a random fossil. Let's go over here or down here to our next marker, which is the cardinal flower that spawns in this area. Each and every day that I tell you guys about, that helps me indicate exactly what cycle the fossils are on. I mean, the flowers are on. Apologize for that. Uh, let's go up here to roads, which I have a couple things to tell you guys about. I have five things, maybe, inside of roads. And then up here a little bit, I got some more stuff. Right here by the E in roads, there's a tree standing up in the shape of a Y, I guess, depending on what angle you look at it from. To me, I see an I, I mean a Y as I walk up, but right at the base of that tree in this area where my marker is, you will find a random coin with your metal detector. So come over here by the base of that tree with your metal detector, and that's what you will get. Right here at our next marker, you will find a family heirloom. This family heirloom is in a treasure chest as well. Right there, as I zoom in, right there in the treasure chest, in the corner of this building, there's a treasure chest. Open it up and you will find a rosewood hairbrush. There's also a tarot card here, which is on top of the bank. How you get on, on top is right here. There's a ladder right here at the back and walk up on the roof to the location of the card, which is right here. That card is a Four of Cups, by the way. There's also a card inside the gazebo, right here at this location on the table, which is a Four of Wands. Let's see what else we have. We have a Random lost jewelry right here at this location. Messer. Right about there. There's a random lost jewelry. Come over here with your metal detector in your shovel. And that's what you would dig up. Uh, let's go over here. Up here to Southfield Flats. We're inside the house. In the green cabinet in the corner. You will find a tarot card right here inside that house. Remember the cabinet in the corner, not the one directly in front of you. The one in the corner. Let's go over a little bit to our next marker, which is right at around Matic Pond. This one you do not need your metal detector for. You just need your shovel. Right here at this location, you will get a random arrowhead. So go and get that as well. I'm pretty sure that's all I really have for you guys, but there is one more thing, a coin right here at this location. <laughs> I had to throw that in there for some reason, but there's a coin right here, a random coin. Come over here with your metal detector and that's what you will get. If I did, I don't think I missed anything, but I will try to go live tomorrow morning maybe. 
If not, I will do it in the afternoon. But the cycles once again for today, Tuesday, March 30th, are Family Heirloom, Cycle 6, All Azuri, Cycle 4, Coin Cycle 1, Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 6, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 2, All Terror Cards Cycle 6, Bird Egg Cycle 6, and Fossil Cycle 3. Once again, Family Heirloom Cycle 6, All Azuri Cycle 4, Coin Cycle 1, Arrowhead Cycle 1, Wildflower Cycle 6, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 2, All Terror Cards Cycle 6, Bird Egg Cycle 6, and Fossil Cycle 3. Remember, if you cannot hear me, if you cannot understand me, in any type of way, everything will be down in the description box below, along with a link to a video for the current, well, including the cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils, and how to spell the Instagram and Twitter for the channel for Madame Nazar's location and anything else. But the cycles change every day at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. New York time zone, East Coast time zone, for those of you who don't, don't know. And Madame Nazar changes every day at 2 a.m. East, uh, East Coast time zone, Eastern Standard Time, New York time zone, East, for those of you who don't know, or not of America. But thank you guys for liking. Thank you guys for sharing. Thank you guys for commenting. Thank you guys for talking to me or whatever else you do. I do appreciate each and every bit of it. It is your main man, Hitman, once again, and I'm out.